Yeah, they've been in every game that they've played, but that's that's just a tribute to Coach Ivory. I mean, we've all been around him for a number of years here at UAPB. His teams are always uh, really scrappy, and they're going to fight to the end. 
Uh, and, they, and they have a chance to get off some streaks, but hopefully not today uh, <laughs> against the Golden Lions. You know, um, again, good, it's good to see Coach Ivory again, you know, somebody that's been your colleague for, you know, 10 or more years. It's like, you know, being almost like being brothers. So, also with uh, the returning players, yeah. George Ivory III, A.J. Spedic. Yeah, so it's kind of bittersweet. Right, right. We love you, Coach, after the game. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Go to Lions have it here. Just on the way here from the H.O. Clinton's Arena, starting for the Delta Devils, zero, Raekwon Brown and guard, Tyron Moses. Here to the As a counter shot is made by A.C. Curry to start the ball game, go to Lions take a 3 nothing lead. If I'm not mistaken, A.C. Curry started the last ball game now with a three point yeah, lead. Just on the other side. Raekwon Brown, Tyron Mosley, Kadar Walter, Alvin Stradick, A.J. Stradick, former Golden Lion, and Ernest Minton starting for the Delta Devils. And for the Golden Lions, Trey John Ware, Sean Dawes Jr., Robert Lewis, A.C. Curry, and Ishmael Fletch. As Trey John Ware chases down the missed shot by the Delta Devils. He loses the handle into the hands of their starting guard. That is Danny Washington. Washington misses his shot. And the ball just kind of rolled out. Yeah. Right, no one wants to go get that one. Well, you know, I think everybody blocked the box stop somebody and just kind of left the ball down on the ground by itself. Yeah. So there will be a foul on Danny Washington, his first personal. And that's going to be the first team foul for the Delta Devils. And speaking of the Devils, we got a Westmoreland on the bench. Right. Well. Time blow connections all down and through there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good to see him, too. Absolutely. And uh, a Titan as well. We didn't mention uh, We do have Chastity former, Titan. Right. Former UAB Lay Lions basketball player. And if I'm not mistaken, she's the only female assistant coach in the men's ranks in the swing. That's big. And yeah. she's Roberts, Coach uh, Ivy Harbor last year. I thought it was a power move, and he did it well. Especially with the name of Allen, top, top name. Yes. Yes, it is. Missed shot by the Devils. Sean Dawson drive. And we have a blocking foul called against uh, Allen. To get back to Miss Totten, um, it's got to be something good for her because her dad was the star. You know, probably she heard that so much. Being on the Allen, and then by her being the first female, she has her own uh, path. Her own legacy, that's yeah. right. <laughs> A.J. Stredick called for the foul because he's a 6'8 junior from Bay City, Texas. Former Golden Lion. Three-pointer missed by A.C. Curry. Here comes the Devil. Drive. Shot is up and blocked by A.C. Curry. And here comes Trey John Ware. He'll slow it up here. Dallas has it. Double team inside to Robert Lewis. Takes the shot. Fades away. Robert Lewis gets his first basket of the evening. And again, he was signed from the King Cotton Classic last year. Played for Cardinal Miller. Out of Missouri, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think he's going to be a big time for us all over. Go to Lions again with the rebound. Ishmael played it. Good son. Dogs. Oh. And he loses the handle, and Hyper extended that knee. Thank goodness he's okay. He gets up limping a little bit. Goes back over to the Devils. Here's AJ Spreader down low. Goes up. Basket no good, and he travels. <laughs> So 17-37 remaining in this first half. Five to nothing. Golden Lions on top over the Mississippi Valley States. Delta Devils. And you know, at one point, you know, Goss was close to Iowa's top recruit. That's right, what right. A lot of familiarity here with these two teams. Both on the staff and on the court. Yeah. Trey John Ware with a screen by Robert Lewis. And they're going to get him for an offensive foul, illegal screen. And that's a good call. Lewis was moving. That's his first personal and the Golden Lions first as well. Tyron Moser will inbound. The junior forward from Chicago, Illinois. As Danny Washington will bring it up. He's guarded by Trey John Ware. Versus dribble goes to the lane, and it is altered by A.C. Curry. And here's a jump ball as A.J. Stradick able to get it up. A great job there by A.C. Curry, who has been pretty active here early on in this game. Yeah, you like to see that by Curry. Tyler Milton enters the game. Basically, walk all the way across half court. I, I, I think he's still, I think he's at home. With you. <laughs> Coach, you got to get back, man. <laughs> get back, man. Five right, nothing still out of score. <laughs> 17 minutes remaining in this first half. Devils have it. This 
Ishmael Platt defending. Raekwon Brown, he swings it over to Mosley. Spin move in the lane. Triple jumper is short. Offensive board by A.J. Stradick is blocked by Robert Lewis. There is a whistle on the play. That foul is going to be on Robert Lewis, his second personal. And the Golden Lions second team foul. So that was in former Golden Lion, A.J. Stradick to the line for a two. He's a grad student. He was recruited by Coach Ivory and yeah. decided to go there to do his post undergraduate studies as he's able to knock down the first free throw. And Coach wow. Ivory had it again. We've seen it for over a decade yeah. here at UNBB. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to work those officials. <laughs> He'll wet up a suit, a good suit, right? Yes, sir. AJ Swedick makes one of two as AC Curry snaps the rebound. 16.45 remaining in the first half. Doss over to Milton. Milton back to Doss. Two-man game here as Doss is ripped. And the turnover into the hands of the, the Devils. Doss now trying to defend. As Washington will bring it across midcourt. He'll be guarded by Plett. Bit of a mismatch here. As a big man the center holding a point guard. And Chris Green out tonight. We saw him in a street clothes. He had a concussion last game. Oh, yeah, yeah. Forgot about that. Ready goes up strong. Great defense there by Bram Harris. Whistle on the play. You don't want to put him out there too soon. Right. He said he'll be out till Thursday. Get reevaluated. Maybe he'll be ready for the Mississippi Road trip. Now we see big guy. Here's the Little Rock Arkansas native, the transfer in from SAU Tech. Number 32, Caleb Stokes in his first action pretty much of the year. I don't yeah. think we've seen him all year. You can tell he's a fan favorite because right. the crowd got loud when he came in the game. 6'8", Junior. Big boy. They give the Golden Lions some presents down low that we've been looking for. Right. And he's a wide body as well. Yeah. He's a good boy. Ware swings it out to Dawson, takes the three. It's going to be short. Caleb with the rebound. Stokes up with the putback. And we have a whistle on the play. Caleb Stokes with a strong putback. And you hear the crowd. Yeah. That foul is on number two, Raekwon Brown. As Caleb Stokes heads to the line. Media timeout on the court. We'll take one as well. 15.48 remaining in this first half. Go to Lions lead 5 to 1. The Go to Lions main broadcast. Go to the Go to Lions sports. On 99 to the beat. We'll be back. Native Caleb Stokes heads to the line for the Golden Lions. His first throw is up and good. So Stokes with the first point of the season. Uh, you can tell Stokes is the fun guy. He, he probably one that makes all the jokes, <laughs> things like that. You can tell he, everybody loves it. Much. Right. 
And he's not down the second three throw. Two for two from the line for Stokes. Gives the go to Lions a six point lead. Seven to one is our score. As it'll be man to man, full court pressure. And Marshall likes to stick out that little chicken wing. Great defense by Trey John Ware. He gets the steal. Swings it up to Bram Harris. Wow, great defense of play. Yeah, well, Bram did a really good job right there. He'll get it. Takes it inside. Back out to Dawes. Baseline drive by Dawes. Swings it back out to Ware. Ware to Milton. Corner three. No good. He's out there. Good Rebound, look. Jordan Johnson. Good look right there for Milton. 15 minutes remaining in this first half. Sean Dawson Jr. defending on Tyron Mosley, who will drive. He'll take the close shot, no good. Off of the Devils. They go over to the Golden Lions. Number 11, Terry Collins, will enter for the Delta Devils. Again, as they trail 7-1. to one. Kind of looking like a baseball score right now. Yes, it's coming fast. It's coming fast. Looking forward to that. Yeah. UAPB Golden Lions baseball as well as Lady Lions softball coming up here in about a month or so. No. Less than a month. No. Right. Yeah, about Less than a month. A couple of weeks. Have weeks. We open up on the 17th at that Arkansas State weekend too. It's pretty exciting. So Definitely looking forward to that. As the Golden Lions missed the jump or rebounded by the Devils. They have it in the front court. And this field double team gets it inside to Brown. He takes the shot, misses. Rebound by Kylan Milton, has it knocked away. Bram Harris corrals it. Sean Dawson in your baseline, spin. And that foul is called for number one. That's Tyron Mosley. First foul on Raekwon, excuse me, Tyron Mosley, and the second foul on the Devils. Where inbounds to Harris, Graham Harris, that is. Kylie Milton will bring it out top. Where to Harris, back to where, back to Milton, over to Curry. Baseline drive. Looking inside, here's Caleb Stokes, spin move. Nice post move by Caleb Stokes. He's able to get it in. That's what we've been moving, though. On the inside, yes. Really low post present. That's he is right there for Coach Holden's his team going down the stretch. Terry Collins, again, great defense. That's Trey John Ware. His first person, third team foul for the Golden Lions. As Valley will inbound near the scores table with Jordan Johnson. And I love the energy of Coach Bozeman as well. He, he, he's almost ready to be out there playing. You can just tell. <laughs> Collins takes a three, way off. Just the air ball. And the crowd lets him know. You know after last game, with the way Coach Bozeman left the, the interview, this team is going to come out with some more fire in right. this one. And it looked like they, they were, I mean, kind of tired. tired yeah. To be honest, with the legs were kind of, saw a lot of falling and yeah. things like that. Trey John Ware was a deep three, a little bit long. He'll run after his own rebound. Chases it down out of bounds, and it goes over to Valley. 13-20 remaining in the first half. 9-1 to one is our score. As number three, Kadar Walter returns to the ball game, the sophomore guard from Bakersfield, California. It'll be Tyron Mosley inbounding for Valley. Ishmael Platt returns as Caleb Stokes in a rebound. Great minutes by Stokes right there. Absolutely. Doss also returns in place of Bram Harris. The Devils will bring it up court with Walter. He'll be held by Ware as he gets to the cup. Swings it to the corner for a three, and it is knocked down by Tyron Mosley. And it is nine to four, go to Lions lead. Doss wasting no time, goes to the cup, and he's gonna be fine. His name is Swag Player of the Week. They gave us 26.6 in both of the games in the last weekend. He did. 
He'll look to continue that dominance here, dominance here tonight for his old, uh, in front of his old coach. But he does it quietly too. He it, does. It's not like it's a lot of <laughs> like we knew when McMahon took over the game. Right. But you don't right. really know when Dawson's is taking over the game. But you look up and he's in double figures. He got north of 20 points already. He's able to knock down his first free throw. He'll have one remaining. And he makes it. 11 to 4 our score. Border Lions lead. 13 minutes remaining in this first half. Sean Dawson with his first two points of the game. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Just remember that. And then we'll look back in the second half. You have 20. <laughs> you have 22 points. Yeah. It's AJ Stretic against this guy, Clay. Clay is not going. They're going to call Clay for a five. Wow, that's a good matchup there with AJ Green. This is AJ Stretic. And Ismail Clay. That was just too strong for. for couldn't even move him. Right. Stratic. Try it again. This time, the Brown, he loses it into the hands of Stratic. And a blocking foul called on Sean Dawson. Sean Dawson's first foul of the ball game and the team's fifth. And 11 points off score. 12.35 remaining as A.J. Stratic will head to the line. For the Devils, you'll have two. The Lions looking to bounce back after the last of the state. Stratic misses his first. And again, it is so close at the top of the SWAC men's division. Yeah. You, you have the 6-1 and one all first state Braves and Southern Jags. You have 6-2 and two, Grambling State and 5-3 and three, UAPB. Today. Right, right. Yeah. We'll get you an update on that score Somebody's here. Somebody's going to take a L. Now. Milton has it. He'll set it out top. In the corner to A.C. Green, who just loses the handle. Got to catch it first. Devils will press. Stand okay. stepping on the end line. He's going to be cut off Walter. He goes back to the Golden Lions. Yeah, you got a lot of uh, energy. Go around, want to come out and get off to a hot start after last week, and then the double doubles want to come out here and play well for that coach. You know, knowing that he's coming back to a place that he's, he's been a decade. Or so. Milton takes a three point shot and knocks it down. Kylan Milton from downtown. 10 point advantage, Golden Lion. He's one of the Golden Lions that can get his shot anytime he wants. And you mentioned All Corn State and Southern just underway. It's tied at two. His layup is made by Kadar Walter for the double. The Golden Lions wasting no time. Has it knocked away is Kylie Milton. And here comes Valley. Sees it down low, stolen by AC Curry. And Trey John Ware will push. Kick it out to Dennis Goss. He swings it to Curry. Over to Milton, takes a three. And knocks it down. Kylie Milton, two for two from behind the arc. And he has six points. I don't think nobody on the court can stop him other than Dawes. <laughs> this ball is stripped away and off of Tyrone Bolton. He goes back to the Golden Lions. So media timeout, 11-18 remaining in the first half. 11-point advantage for the Golden Lions, 17-6 to is our score. For the Lions main broadcast of Golden Lions Sports on 99.3 The Beat. We'll be back in a minute.
again, it's the return of Coach George Ivory for the Devil of Mississippi Valley State University and the coach, of course, Solomon, Coach Solomon Bozeman doing a great job with the Golden Lions. Five of the last six wins for the Golden Lions in conference play. Yeah. They'll have it as we resume action. Milton takes his third three-pointer, a little bit short. He was on target. Should have been. He should have. Gets it back to Dawes. He thought about it. He'll get it back to Milton. He checked. He's going to drive this time. Nice pass down to Curry. Bounce move to Plant. Up strong. Should have been a call there, I thought. Fight for it on the ground. Ends up in the hands of the Devils. They're going to push. And this is Walter. Goes up. He's throwing the ball away. Strong move by Dawson. He's going to be hacked. Washington called for the foul. Sean Doss went strong to the cup. He'll have two from the line. As you hear Coach Bozeman, tell him to finish like a grown man. <laughs> Doss misses the first free throw. And speaking of which, Doss did a great job uh, in the last ball game from the line as well. That contributed to those. 30 points that he posted against Grambling State and the loss. Shouts out to Sports Information Director yeah, Camille yeah. Stokes. The hardest working man on campus. I'm telling you. Free throw is good by Dawes. 18 to 6 is our score. 10 and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Three point side is up. He's good. Oh, Terry Cobb. Hit head to head. You can see Milton kind of trying to get his bearings back. And straight down Ware loses the handle. It goes out of bounds. Yeah, right. Again, Chris Green will be out today because of a concussion in the previous game against Grambling State. Yeah, just a transition. Just a hard contact. Yeah, Here comes the Devils. They bring it down. AJ Stratic has it down low. Tries to get it in, misses. Ace Curry comes up with the rebound. He'll give it a hit to Blair. Nice pass inside to Ishmael Blair. And that shot is pinned to the backboard. Blair with some play. And they're going to get number 10. <laughs> Danny Washington with his third personal foul. Stratic is showing some of the same thing that he did with Blair. He's showing that. when he played here a few years back. He just had a hard time finishing at the basket. To the sign today. And Washington with three personal fouls for the Devils. Tyrone Mosley with two. Raquan Brown and Alvin Stredick has one apiece. Uh, Ismail Black knocks down his free throw. Michael Barber comes in, the graduate student from Jackson, Mississippi, for the Devils. Black will have one free throw for the man. Seven personal fouls for the Devils, so the Golden Lions will shoot free throws. At least the one and one for the remainder of the half is split. Knocks down the second free throw. 9.45 remaining in the first half. 20 to 9 is our score. Golden Lions lead by 11. And this will be Washington. Check that that is Walter with it. Trapped down in the corner. Washington in trouble. Walter in trouble. They're going to get Plett with the foul. So that's two on Ishmael Plett, six on UAPB. Yeah, about a week ago, you probably worried about him getting the second, you know, uh, halfway through the first half. But now with big man. Caleb Stokes, right. Stokes. Right, we got another man that can. We got another man go in there, right? Here close. he comes. <laughs> Just on time, right on cue. Caleb Stokes re-enters. He'll relieve Plett. As Southern has jumped down to a 12 point lead over Alcorn State in that game early, 17 to 5. Yeah, that's a home game for Southern, too. Right. right. Prairie View leads Texas Southern 11 to nothing. And we'll give you some finals in a couple of matchups a little bit later. Yeah, I'm keep winning, huh? They did. They beat Jackson State 78 66, which is big. 
Well, the road line as well. Alabama and m over Van Newton. 61-56. Throwing Cook and Scoop by Alabama State. 64-62. Missed shot by the Devils. Ends up in the hands of Bram Harris. And here comes Kylie Milton. Back to Harris. Over to Curry. Nice ball movement by the Golden Lions. Match up zone defense. As Milton got up high for that rebound. Curry by himself in the corner. The three point is good. Laced it and let the bench go. Hey, you're talking to the wrong one. AC Curry, the Denver, Colorado native. Foul hot. Here's Walter with the scoop shot. No good. Rebound. Stokes. Caleb Stokes. One of his indicated cameo stuff. Milton dribbling here. And they're going to get, oh, that's Danny Washington. That's going to be his fourth personal foul here with 8.47 remaining in the first half. Wow. Wow. He's going to have to come out. He can go get on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely won't see him no more to the second half. No, he can go get on the bus because he didn't come back today. Well, no sir, man. Yeah. As Kyler Milton will hit to the line. 23-9 is our score. Go to Lions on top. Milton misses the front end of the one and one. Gets his own rebound. Dawes pump fakes on the three. They'll reset. Curry knocking down. Here's Milt. Here's Caleb Stokes. Nice move. And this man, this big man has some big man moves. Yeah, he does. He's smooth with it. Caleb Stokes with a six point. And his go to Lions debut. That's big for, for, for the go to Lions. Look at him, my big man out here playing defense. He got him to five. And Coach told him, hey, calm down. <laughs> That's on Stokes, his first personal, and the seventh team foul. <laughs> Zach Reinhardt making his first appearance tonight. Also, Robert Lewis re entering for the Golden Lions. That's it again. You got George out in third. Yes, former Golden Lion as well. Yeah. Good kid, too, man. I love the kid. Love the kid. Top. Right. Local. So, Kadar and Walter were here to the line for the Devils. 25-9 hour score. Go to the Lions lead here with 18, 19 remaining. And Walter knocks down the front end of the one and one. He'll have one remaining. As he pulls the Devils within 15. <laughs> you look at that move and they give you a... <laughs> the, I, I don't trust your math anymore than I trust my... <laughs> the spread... I could do it with the zero. You know? yeah. out of 10, I'm good. Walter knocks down the second free throw. When they get the 13. Now, now the lead is? Oh, uh, it's 14. 14. Here we go. It's a one. <laughs> now, but we get into the threes and the fours. Problem. AC Curry has it. He'll swing it over to where? Zone defense by the Devils. Curry, bounce pass into Caleb Stokes. Big man boost. Pump fake and has it knocked away. A lot of contact with no call. And I love that Stokes, no complaints, just kept on playing. And he travels. And that leads us to a media timeout with 7.51 remaining in the first half. Go to Lions on a 14-point lead, 25-11 hour score on the Lions Bank broadcast of Go to Lions Sports on 99 through the beat. We'll be right back. Side Carlos James and the Golden Lions holding 14 point 
be off to a fast start. And we kind of expected that again after what we saw uh, in the last ball game. We knew that the line would come out with the and they've shown us that this uh, thus far in this ball game. Yeah, they look, they look really fresh today. Getting up and down the court, playing great defense. Uh, and again, you know, Coach Bowman with his attitude, <laughs> they want to come out ready to play today. Absolutely, and they have, as they have possession here. 7.40 remaining in the first half, 25 to 11 on score. Zach Reinhardt has it on the baseline, has it knocked away into the hands of the Devils. I think Reinhardt is just trying to hard. He, he started out the season really well. And just here lately, he's just been having a little bit, a little bit of struggles. I think it's just because he just wants so bad to get in and play. So the Devils have it on the wing as they will dribble. Whistle. The ball goes out of bounds and it goes over to the Golden Knights. So 25 11 remains our score with 7 10 remaining in the first half. Trey John Ware will bring it up. 1 3 1 zone defense for the Golden Lions. Shot clock not uh, getting underway. As it's down to uh, now down to 26 with 7 5 remaining in the first half. Danny Washington with his four fouls returns to the ball game. He's going to have to be extremely careful. And I would yeah. isolate. I would isolate Trey John Ware on uh, Washington right now. Just take it to see if he can ride. Yeah. But they're one in one, three, one zone. So have to get it to the offense. And the Golden Lions do exactly that. Here's Doss back out to Ware. Looking for a shot. Has this one tipped away. It is off Trey John Ware. And it goes over to Valley. Yeah, that was a long pass right there by Dawson trying to get that ball all the way back across the court. But if, if, if Ware should have to at least try to meet the basketball and kind of cut down that uh, lane where the defender had to just stick his hand in there. So Washington will have it. He'll be guarded by Trey John Ware. Man to man defense for the Golden Lions. Washington's attack. Pulls it back out, shoots it inside the lane. And this is Michael Barber has it. Should be three seconds yeah. right now. He gets the layup up and in. And Ten seconds. Right. Oh, that was a backcourt call. <laughs> Coach Alvin got a homer call there. <laughs> so 25-13 now to score. 12 point advantage for the Golden Lions. Doss inside to Robert Lewis. Lewis back out to Doss. Over to where? Doss attacks the zone. Takes a mid-range jumper. Over the top of the defender. No good. Rebound called for. As the courtside fans got a little lap through. Yeah, that's what you pay for. That's sweat. right. That's exactly right. Get a little sweat on. Oh, you know, you know, you're in the game. Tamika Tyler. And Gary over there. D Wave representers. Right. Of course, uh, Tamika worked in the, uh, with Doc Coley for a number of years okay. in the industrial technology uh, department. I think they're all right. You to give them free walks. Right, exactly. A towel. Or give him a personal foul. <laughs> <laughs> you know, give him something. Ernest Minton will head to the line. <laughs> Running into the one and one is good. <laughs> and that last foul was called on AC Curry. That's his first personal. That's the 18 foul. Second free throw up and good by Ernest Minton. 6.05 remaining in the first half. Florida Lions hold on to a 10 point lead. Has scored in the last couple possessions as the ball is knocked away <laughs> out of bounds by Ernest Minton. And again, those courtside seats, boy, yeah. you get all the action. The ball almost took somebody's head off. Quick there. reaction by the, uh, the lady in the AKA sweater over there. Yeah. And the lady in the UAPB shirt, they kind of split and let the ball go between them. I need to sign them up, get them a jersey. Right. Trey John Ware takes a deep three and knocks it down from downtown. Trey John Ware. And I was, I was going to talk about that because Trey John Ware took under that grab and go. He hit like three, three corners in a row. Right. So he has the ability to shoot it. Here's the drive by Terry Collins. He kicks it back out to Washington. He swings it over. In the corner, the attack. Shot off the glass, in and out, no good. Rebound, Ishmael Flett. That shot was by Minton, not able to get it to fall. 
Goal line quickly into their offense. Milton has it. Here's Doss for three, and it's good. Sean Doss Jr. from downtown. Uh -huh. And the lead swells to 16. Goal line doing a good job of spreading the ball around. Here's an attack by George Ivory the third. He'll head to the line. After the foul with A.C. Curry. That's his second personal in the 19th foul for the Golden Lions. One more will send the Devils into the double bonus. As George Ivory will have a one and one here. Free throw up. No good by Ivory. Robert Lewis. Release Clett. Clett with two personal fouls. We'll take a break. As Ivory will have one free throw remaining. And the free throw is missed. Offensive support was in the hands of Barber, but it was slapped away. And it goes over to the goal line. 5-0-1 remaining in this first half. Ware will bring it up. Go to Lions 31-15 lead. Milton has it. He's driving down the middle of the lane, hop step. Kicks it back out to Doss. Back to Milton. Over to Ware. Curry is going to take the corner three up and oh, almost goes down. Rebound by Collins. Did everything but Ware. Right. Went halfway down and came out. Inside. To Barber, he takes the shot up off the glass and it comes out. It's going to be a foul call on AC Curry. It's going to be his third personal and the 10 team foul. So the double bonus for the remaining 431 for the Devils as they trail by 16. Michael Barber will head to the line. Free throw is good by Barber. Trey John Ware, Bram Harris, in for the Golden Lions. Raekwon Brown entering for the Devils. And it'll be one shot remaining for Barber. You know, one thing I noticed with the first game was that coach Thornton, she's got a pretty good rhythm now. So he told him, and so does coach uh, Simon Bowden. You can tell they got a lot more rhythm than the guys that he wants to use in the game. Free throw good by Barber. Dawson take a three from the corner, no good. Rebound, Robert Lewis has it knocked away, and it is stolen by Terry Collins. He'll push. Mid-range jumper by Collins is no good. Put back up, no good. Rebound, Trey John Ware. He gets it out front to Milton. Milton throws it up for Doss, and they're going to call Terry Collins for the foul. He was just trying to disrupt alley -oop, I believe. I, I just think it was his reaction to it. It was like a nonchalant reaction to it. Yeah, I, I don't think they would have called a foul had he, like you said, would have been a little bit more adamant about trying to make the play. So that's going to be Collins' first personal with the 18 foul on the Valley Devils. Check that, that's the 19 foul. As Dawson misses the first free throw. He shot so well from the line in the, in the previous game against Grambling, struggling here tonight. AJ Stredding returns. As well as Tyron Mosley. Oh, 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 oh. I know I was going to say something, but I had nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You know, this is one of the things where I say something here. I had nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it is okay. <laughs> Dallas at the line for his second shot with 4 3 remaining in this first half. And he knocks it down. <laughs> Kadar Walton returning. And he will have to handle the majority of the point guard duties. Danny Washington, their other point guard, with four personal fouls here in the first half. We're under four minutes. Danny Washington fouled everybody, even the cleanup coach. Kylie Milton almost come over the steal. Great recovery by the Golden Lions defense. Devils will swing it. Graham Harris defending. This is Collins for three. It's going to be short. Rebound, Trey John Harris. Gets it out front to Milton, who comes down with it and just has to throw it out. As the official was in the way, Graham Harris tried to grab it. And you hear from the crowd.
And it's going to be a timeout on the court. Media timeout. 32 to 17 is our score. Golden Lions lead big here with 3.36 remaining in the first half. We'll be back for more of the Reliance Bank broadcast of Golden Lions basketball on 99 3 the ball.
APB product, Orion Verde, in the game for the Golden Lions. Yeah. Well, so a pretty good shooter in Verde. As Walter will bring it up for him. Milton will defend. Man to man defense. Matto looks like. Pass inside. They get in to Mosley. He's guarded by Verde. Spin move. Goes inside. This is Brown. Break one. Brown with the basket. 34 23 our score. Brown with his first bucket of the game. Again, 2 3 zone. I think if you put Mosley, you want to get Dolph out of the game right here. Minute 17. Two fouls. He loses the control of it. Ends up in the hands of Lett. And he's able to lay it up. And Coach Ivy is not happy with the effort of his team. 1-10 remaining in the first half. We'll take a 30-second timeout. 36-23 out score. Go to Lions lead on the Lions Bank broadcast of Go to Lions basketball. 199 through the beat. Shot here. Go to Lions want to get it back up to double digits. Yeah, get out of here. Reinhardt has it, drives baseline, kicks it out top to Milton, takes the deep three, and we have a foul on the play, a foul prior to the buzzer and the whistle. So Milton will head to the line for three fouls. That was on number 24. That's on Ernest Vincent, and I don't think the M4 Pep Band realizes that the half is not over yet. No. no, 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 no. That should be three shots. Here. Right, he should have three shots here, but they'll take a look to make sure he got it off in time or if the foul call uh, was called prior to the buzzer. The officials, again, we haven't said much about the officials tonight, so that means they're, probably, they're doing a pretty good job. When they go unnoticed, they're doing a great job. Right, so that means you did a good job. <laughs> I didn't say nothing to you. You did a great job. So it's a nine-point advantage for the Golden Lions as as of now. Again, they're reviewing the previous play to see uh, how much time was left. If it was a three-point shot on the foul, will it be a two-point shot? Will it be any time remaining? Which would probably be a couple of more, uh, at least tenths of a second, maybe going back on the clock, depending on when the foul was called. Shots. And they did a good job. They did it expeditiously. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Joe Clark, you did. They did. <laughs> <laughs> did Joe. So Kylan Milton will head to the line with no time remaining on the clock. And I haven't seen how many shots you have. You have three shots. And then, but have you ever seen the free throw with security on the court? Uh, no, I haven't. Right. First free throw is good, so we have two shots remaining. I guess because, well, the half cannot be over with the free throws, but there's no time left on the clock. Security on the court. First time we've ever seen it. Milton knocks yeah. down the second as well, so he's two for two thus far. Matter of fact, everybody's on the court. George is on the court. 
<laughs> and he's three for three. So no time on the clock. And that's going to do it for the first half. Our score, UAPB 39, Mississippi Valley State 27. We'll take a two-minute break, and we'll be back with more on the Reliance Bank broadcast of Go to Lions Basketball, UAPB Sports Network, and Delta Place Radio 99. Support and, and the go to line uh, nation guard to know that it's going to be a process. You know, it may not necessarily have to make sure that you're talking right, a right. two, a three year, three to five year process and getting the program back to to where it can be consistently uh, competitive. So, you know, it's going to take some time, but the main thing is just to support it. Absolutely. Definitely got to support Coach Zoe Hampton, the head football coach, the 22nd head football coach for the UAPB Golden Lions. Now looking here in the H.O. Clemens Arena, uh, these Golden Lions under the direction of Coach Solomon Bozeman, yeah. they're playing extremely well, and, and you wanted to see that. They came out kind of sluggish the last game against Grambling, uh, kind of took it on the chin a little bit. Coach Bozeman was not happy at all. He said we didn't shoot well, we didn't defend, and he said that's pretty much what makes their team. Well, they come out this game in the first half, they've done everything that he said they didn't do in the last game. Yeah, I mean, um, of course, you know, 
coach was visibly disappointed in the way his team played last week. But as a as a coach myself, and, and knowing how his team played against probably the best team in the conference, right. I think they did a really good job of just learning how to finish. And I think you know having that week off and coming back out here, you see a different club, right here, especially against against Valley. I mean, just to be honest with you, we had to decide it. More talent than, than the basketball club does, and we're actually doing what we're supposed to be doing by 12 at the half. Absolutely. Shoot 47.8% from the field are the Golden Lions in the first half, 46.2% from behind the arc, and that's what Coach Solomon Bozeman wants to see. They're 6 of 13. He likes to get those shots up, but you know, you got to be making them. You can't just be putting them up and not knocking any down. So they're shooting, again, over 45%. Great shooting from behind the arc and from the free throw line at a 78.6% clip as they are 11 for 14 from the free throw line. Like you said, Lamar, they look a lot fresher. Right. Uh, a lot more spring in their stuff. You know, they get in the spots making some easy passes. Absolutely. Scoring updates from across the SWAC. Of course, Golden Lions lead here 39-27. Texas Southern leads Prairie View with 53 seconds remaining in the first half. 30 to 27 is halftime. And Southern still leads uh, Alcorn State 31 to 25. Uh, up by six in that game at the half. Crucial game there for the Golden Lions as well. If we can get a win here today, and uh, we, whichever team loses, it's going to help us out because those are the two teams that are tied atop the SWAC conference right now. And of course, uh, right below them is Grambling State. Also, earlier today, Grambling defeated Jackson State 78 to 66. Alabama and them over FAMU 61 to 56. But then Cookman defeated Alabama State 64 to 62. We're about nine minutes outside of the second half tip off here from the H.O. Clemens Arena. We'll take a break, and when we return, we'll have more Golden Lions basketball on the UAPB Sports Network. Our score here at halftime Golden Lions 39, Valley Delta Devils 27. We'll be back with more on the Reliance main broadcast of Go to Lions Sports on the UAPB Sports Network and Delta Flex Radio's 99.3 The Beat. We'll be back.
He's just drawn to it. And he was the only coach out here. All his assistants coaches just got to the bench. <laughs> They've been calling it more in the NBA uh, here lately just because I think the guys are just so strong. If they can pin you, right. Right. there's right. nothing you can really do. But foul. Robert Lewis has it. Drops it down to Blett. Blett, he's going to back in. Spin move. Nice move by Ishmael Blett. Has it knocked away. But Ray Carl Brown is going to be called for the foul. That's his second and the team second in the half as well. Just a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, Golden Lions, Lady Lions, they will be off on Monday. And when they resume action, they'll be on the road at Lorman, Mississippi to take on the Alcorn State Braves next Saturday. Ishmael play, they will knock out the first run. And they'll have their Mississippi run with, I mean, we're playing Valley today, next week, next Saturday, off to Alcorn. And then we'll head uh, to Jackson State next Monday to take on the Tigers. Nice shot there. Free throw is good. Down in Mississippi to the end. Right. The only time you go there at that point is passing through going to the start turn. Yeah, Washington turns it over. Oh, Washington gets it in. You're absolutely right. Washington with the layup. Inside pass to Ishmael Black. 43 29 out score. Here comes the double team. They're trying to turn up the defensive pressure. Screen by Robert Lewis. Pass over to AC Curry. Inside to Black. He's going to make another move. Here's a double team. Blett dribbles out, sends it out top. Stolen. Nice, fancy move there by Tyron Mumford. He tries to dunk over A.C. Curry. And Curry fouls him. It's going to be A.C.'s fourth personal foul. And the first one to go to Lions in this hat. I love the contest, though, by A.C. Curry. As he was not having the dunk. Not in this house. So that'll send Tyron Mosley to the line for two. He knocked down the first one. Kyler Milton returns. He'll relieve Curry again with four personal fouls. Technology. Uh, no, remember we went there for football. And oh, they had, that's right. The issues. They had all right. kind of stuff going on. They had us in there with everybody. Right. <laughs> free throw is good by Mosley. And Milton to knocks down the three pointer to answer. He's doing exactly what Coach Logan has wanted to do all year. And Coach sitting on the bench. And he comes off the bench. Helps. Right. He comes off the bench very right. well. He's fired up. Trey John Ware usually gets the start at point guard. Lions on the 15-point lead. Shreddy goes up. Gets a pass. And Coach Bowden said he's too little down here. And that foul is on number 20. Robert Lewis committing his third personal foul. The second one to go for Lions is George Ivory. The third returns. Here he comes. Here he comes. For the Delta Devils. Big Stokes. Caleb Stokes back in for the Golden Lions. Seventeen forty-two remaining in the game. Go to Lions with a fifteen-point lead. So there's a warning to Ishmael play. Game warning. Delay of game warning. Ishmael play. He must have been across the line. the line, right? Pass into Washington. He'll be guarded by Ware. Backs again. Pull it back out. They're going to get Caleb Stokes for that foul. Good call. He called it. I mean, he grabbed around the waist. And officials on top of it. Good call there. That's Caleb Stokes second. 
Yeah, and the team starts. Stokes look like a big old oh, old 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 You got good feet. I'm making, making some this. money go out there with Coach, new football coach. New both. You see a lot of that here lately. Yes, you do. A lot of basketball players. Shedding cross baseline. The first layup blows it. Million dollar move, 50 cent shot. It comes to go to Lions. Where? Off the glass, no good. Son Dog Jr. with the rebound, and he's five. That's going to be on Blake one round his third. And the third for the double. Texas Southern leads Prairie View at the half, 34-28. Southern, oh, they got the score back up. Southern leads Alcorn by one, just started in the second half. That's why you lost the score. 36-35, right. <laughs> That's why you lost the score. Because they were up big early yeah. in the ball game. But if I'm not mistaken, uh, uh, I'm going to the champions from last year. They go to the top. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, you may be right. You may be right. Of course, they are the top two teams in the swag so far this season. The Sun Dogs Jr. is able to mark down his first free throw. He'll have one remaining. Side is up. And it's good. <laughs> 48-31 lead, 17 by the Golden Lions, with 17, 15 remaining. Again, something going on with the shot clock. He can get started. Should be at 27, I think he's at. So three seconds went off the play clock, but not off the shot clock. But they got it quickly fixed. And the Devils will bring it up for him. Pass is almost stolen by Trey John Ware, then hit by Dallas, knocked out of bounds. Shot clock down to 20. 17.08 remaining in the ball game. There's an inbound. This is to George Ivory over top to Washington. Now over to Minton. Let's swing it back out top. So matchup zone defense by the Golden Lions. Caleb Stokes, they got him out for the top of the key. The ball is almost turned over. Graham Harris gets on the ground for it. And he'll call a timeout. Heads up play there by Graham Harris as he gets the timeout call. Golden Lions with a 17-point lead, 48-31 with 16-48 remaining. We'll take a one-minute break and be back with more on the Lions Bank broadcast. Go to Lions Sports on 99 to the league. Top of the conference, 
and uh, you know getting this win, you know getting this lead. You know, hopefully we can uh, secure this victory and, and close out this first half on a good note. Absolutely, because just we both know just because you have the more talented team right. doesn't necessarily mean you're going to come out with the win. Exactly. So the Golden Lions will bring it up. Big loss for the Razorbacks earlier today as they fell to number 17 Baylor, 67 to 64. Arkansas State fell to Appalachian State, 63-51. And Euler defeated Tennessee Tech, 91-89. to Kylie Milton with the drive and off the, off the glass. Pretty move by Kylie Milton. Yeah, Kylie Milton, like I told you before, he can he can get any shot he wants at any time he wants. So 50-31 to 31 is the score. Here's the shot by the big man inside, Raekwon Brown. Check that out, was Tyron Mosley making a basket. Raekwon Brown get a hand on it. That should have been a foul. This will be in the hands of Ernest Minton. Kicks it out. He'll get it back. He's guarded by Doss. Tries to spin. Here's the double team with Trey John Ware. They're going to get Ware for the foul. His second personal and the fourth team. And of course, big games in the NFL tomorrow. Huge. Huge game. We'll talk about it when we return. We'll take a one-minute break, and we'll be back with more with 15-54 remaining. Go to Lions lead, 15 to 33. The Lions main broadcast of the Lions basketball, 99 to the beat.
take a break. He'll be replaced by Caleb Stokes. And I think that's going to help Pat out going down the stretch too, stretch too, because now he can play a little bit more aggressive. There's not as many fouls as he got now, but I think he's ready to play a little bit more aggressive down the stretch now that he got some backup now. Right. Here's Washington attacking the basket. Dolph's got him with the body right there. I think it was straight jump. Right. Yeah. 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 Straight jump again. That's Trey Jones third. Six personal foul. Check that looks like he got seven on the blue line. That is correct. So to be a one and one attempt as he passed it away when he got to the cup. So Washington misses the front end, rebound Sean Dawes. Send a shout out to my guy Corey Nelson Sebo celebrating his birthday. It was, uh, actually, yesterday, Michelle Jackson as well celebrating her birthday. Graham Harris is able to knock down a three pointer. He's got my three pointer about Graham Harris. He's shooting a thousand percent. And he has been shooting well all season. He's shooting a thousand percent today. With this pop up now. Then he comes up with the steal, kicks it out to Ware. Throw Ware up. throws it up. Oh, missed the dunk. Uh, it was kind of off balance uh, there. Uh, here comes the devil. I think the thing that threw him off is Milton was right there with him. Three-point shot is good by Danny Washington. And timeout by Bozeman. And yeah. Coach Bozeman not happy. Milton. Milton was in the way of that. He didn't feel want to kind of all the lanes. So only a 30-second break. We'll keep it here. As we were talking about, big weekend in NFL action as well. Yeah. The conference championship games. And, of course, the early game by San Francisco 49ers. Let me so repeat yeah. that. Y'all won. Y'all beat who? The, the Dallas Cowgirls. Oh, did a great right. job. He, uh, uh, Tony Jones team. Oh, Jerry Jones team. Yeah. And here they go with the, with the, the, the football thing again. Yeah. But, of course, the 49ers, they have a tough matchup. As the Philadelphia Eagles, man, they have been playing lights out all year long. The Eagles is the best team in the NFL. I'm not trying to hear that. So the 49ers will be in Philly tomorrow. Mr. Mr. Jalen Hurts. 2 p.m. kickoff for the Golden State. <laughs> 2 p.m. kickoff for the 49ers and the Philadelphia Eagles. And then, of course, that evening, the AFC Championship featuring the visiting Cincinnati Bengals taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. And the big thing there is going to be is, is Pat Mahomes helped him not to lead the Chiefs. You know, he went down early in that game with a right. high ankle sprain. High ankle sprain. Yes. Those are kind of difficult, you know, as the days go on. You know, you see how he's going to respond. Uh, but it's just nothing. Since the days of T.O. and the hyperbolic chamber, I mean, he broke his ankle and played in three days. So I'm just saying. Well, he shouldn't have. Caleb Stokes, three. No good. Rebound. He, he shouldn't have. I agree. I agree. Uh, it's definitely it, possible. It hurt his career at the end of, the, end of his career. Caleb Stokes for the foul. Yeah, you know, um, I'm looking for a Philadelphia Eagle. Uh, 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 yeah, I'm uh, sure you are. Like a lot of people were looking for a Cowboys yeah, right. and uh, I mean, Eagles matchup. So, if, if you know, if, if you had Jerry Rice or Montana, I, I would probably be. We got Purdy. Plus, I'm, I'm kind of slick hate. Because if y'all win a Super Bowl, that would break y'all tied with yes, the Steelers. So I'm still yeah. hate right now. AJ Stedick, Shreddick, able to make his first free throw. 56 to 38 is our score with 13 31 remaining in the game. And we're going to ignore the hating comment. Well, at, least I, the I mean, at, least you're at least I didn't tell you what I told the Cowboy fans. I was going to buy them from uh, Jerry <laughs> and put them in the USFL. It dismantled them. No, we go, <laughs> no, we go to the USFL and win the whole thing. Spread the to knock down the free throw. No, the Cowboys just know how to blow games. So. <laughs> no, that'll be all right. They just got to nail them on. Pass goes to Caleb Stokes. He takes the mid-range jumper. Caleb Stokes. Big, big Smooth. Jumper. Yes, sir. Ooh. I like that name. The Big Smooth. Big That's his name. Wow. Assist from Trey John Ware. Look how he just pushing it. <laughs> big Smooth knocks it away into the hand, hands of Bram Harris. He kicks it out to Sean Doss. Out to Milton, Milton into Caleb Stokes, looking too high, yeah. and it gets off the backboard into the hands of the devil. Here comes Valley. This is Walter. Great defense there by Bram Harris. Shot no good. Trey John Ware brings it up court. 
Euro step has it ripped away. And it goes out of bounds off of Walter. And the Devils from Notre Lines will have possession. 58-39 our score, 19 point advantage. With 12.43 left. Other college basketball scores, Kansas State leads Florida 59 to 38. 71 to 58 for Tennessee on top of Texas. And there's a steal by Collins and the Devils. Layup is up and good by Raekwon Brown. What about that like, one game we talked about with the big upset, Oklahoma and somebody? And Alabama, number yeah. two Alabama. Oklahoma upset in Alabama earlier today, 93 to 69. That was huge. In the SEC Big 12 Challenge. Graham Harris for three, knocks it down for the Golden Lions. The lead. Shooting a thousand percent. Now, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> 20 point advantage for the Golden Lions. They still shooting a thousand percent, man. Here's the inside pass. AJ Stredick guarded by Stokes. Stredick loses balance. I thought he traveled there. Collins will take the three. This is everything. And the putback is good by Tyron Mosley. Dawes wasting no time to get into the front court. They'll slow it down, send it back out. Harris has it. Back over to Ware. Ware thought about Stokes. Harris hop steps, goes up, off the glass, and good. Graham Harris with the big shot. And that foul is on number 14. Oh, check that. They're going to call an offensive foul. That's an offensive foul on Graham Harris. And that's going to be three on Harris. And the team not. Media timeout. We'll take one as well. 61 43. Golden Lions lead for the Lions Bank broadcast. Popping their collar right now. Holding on to an 18 point lead, 61 43, 11 41 remaining in this ball game. It has been pretty much all Golden Lions from the opening tip as they're shooting over 50% from the field at 52.9. And the pass is thrown away by Collins. And it goes back to the Golden Lions. Let's see, Sean Dawes Jr. leads all scores with 16 points, closely followed by Kylan Milton with 14. Those are the only two Golden Lions in double figures. Milton gets in the post, decides to kick it back out to Doss. Let's give Graham Harris another chance to shoot. He's shooting a thousand percent. Like, let him <laughs> shoot. Milton gets the screen from Lewis. He's going to attack the left side, goes up, and the foul is on the floor. They're going to get Collins for it. It's second. Milton is a matchup. 19. That's the fourth team foul on the Golden Lions. And they were inbound underneath their goal. Milton into Doss. Doss was set up. Drive to the left side. Post up. Spin move. Sean Doss, strong move. Misses the layup. And I think he got in too deep on the basket. Great move, though. To get there, just wasn't able to finish. And the lead remains 18. Under 11 minutes remaining in the ball game. Inside shot is up and no good. Rebound, offensive board is up and good. And that is Raekwon Brown. 
and a half remaining in this ball game. And Milton swings it over to Doss. Doss. And they're going to call offensive foul. Illegal screen against Robert Lewis. So Lewis picks up his fourth personal. And that's going to be the tenth foul on the Golden Lions. So the next shot will be the double bonus for the Devils. 61-45 hour score. Here's Raekwon Brown. Has it against Bram Harris. Takes the jumper. Is up and no good. Rebound Bram Harris. Go to Lions. 61-45 lead. As not sure if that was a double dribble or it's going to be the Golden Lions ball. So a double tech has been called. And the double tech was on number 33 and number four. So Jordan Johnson picking up his first personal. Also Orion Verdon picking up his first personal. And I don't think it applies to your team files. So that will remain 10 and 4, Golden Lions and Devils, respectively. And AJ Stratton is going to be called for the quick file. And I think it's more so, this is going to be the fifth foul on the team. And I think it's more so the refs there to keep control of this ball game. Keep yeah. a little chippy. Yeah. So they want to make sure that it doesn't get out of hand. Yeah, no. Again, you don't need things like that to happen. Right. This time out with that type of thing. Right. Yeah. And, and I know Coach Ivory or Coach Bozeman will not have either no. one. No. Knowing both of them personally. No. Coach. This is Sean Dawson, the post. Kicks it out to Robert Lewis. He drives. Tries the shot. And I think they're going to be shredded for the foul. And the team six. So Robert Lewis with the opportunity here to, I believe, get in the scoring column. column. Yeah, I don't think he's scored at all. He has more fouls than he has points right now. <laughs> <laughs> Classic Coach Ivory. Yeah. <laughs> and Lewis knocks down the free throw. It's not home cooking for you anymore, Coach. <laughs> yeah. and, and you got to know, Coach Ivory, it's just his first full season over there. Right, right. right. He took over last year. They had some time around with Desmond uh, Hunter uh, over there. End up getting rid of him and then take off and take off, finish the season. You know, this is first year really for the club, you know. And he just got his tech, Coach George Ivory. He's been on it. That's Coach George. Excuse me, AJ Stratic. Stratic was punched in the eye. Well, hit in the eye. He didn't want to get that tech, too. That's going to be a technical foul against Coach George Ivory, his first one of the game. You know, this is. This is <laughs> Well, he's loving it. He's yeah. eating it up. Yeah, yeah, look. And so are the fans. It's AJ Stredick had his contact knocked out of line. So the tech against Coach George Ivory will send Kylan Milton to the line. Again, an 18 point lead for UAPB. Yeah, with 18 points, I mean, I'm coaching back here. I think I'm getting near a tech, too. I'm getting two, so I can go on the only. Yeah, I can go, go sit on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Milton knocks down the first free throw and the second one. I mean, you're just being competitive. You, right. George, you want to come back in and win and show them, like, hey, you know. Should never then, let me out. And yeah. then if you coach Bozeman, you, you got him coming back and you saying, hey, look, this, I'm the reason you. why. Yeah, you're not here. Right. You're not exactly. here. You know, so, you know, it's, it's, it's just big competitive. Yes, it is. It's right. great competitive nature. You yeah. love to see it. I mean, that's what sports is all about. You exactly. just keep it clean. But you're going to have that competition, and it's going to get a little chippy sometimes. Yeah. Both of us are former athletes, so we've been on the court, we've yeah. been on the field when, yeah. you know, it's maybe lopsided a little bit, but and you're going to continue to fight. And once it's over, it's over. Right, right. You leave it all on the court. Yeah, yeah we, can, we can talk about it probably a couple days later. Right, exactly. Probably not right after the game. Right. Well, it took, it took us years, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but, again, we, we do understand that it's just competition. Absolutely. So, yeah. Milton gets the inbound from Ram Harris. 9.25 remaining in the game. 20 point lead, Golden Lions. They'll eat up a little bit of this clock. Shot clock now down to 15. Milton drives, 
Down the middle of the lane, gets bumped. Has the ball knocked away, and there's a steal. Curtis Minton. He could have got that ball to Harris. One up high for the rebound. Dawson ends up on the court again. So the foul is on Raekwon Brown. That's going to be his fourth person. Yeah, he, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think he's the leading scorer for Valley. I believe so with 12. With 12 points. 17 foul for Valley. And I'm a little bit behind. Seems like I'm behind the ball. They got 19 fouls. Yeah. I think they, they, they stuck one in on when they put it well, up. The text, the text must be dick. Yeah. They had to. So a lot of free throws and a lot of time left for both teams to be in the double bonus pretty much. This, this game could last at 10 o'clock. Oh, stop cursing. <laughs> stop cursing on air. It could. Knock on plywood. With nine minutes to go, everybody's at the double. Dallas able to knock down both free throws. And the lead swells to 22. Especially with them in a little bit of chip you've got right, to call the foul. you got to call the foul, right. If, if they won, you can kind of let some things go. And, Get him out of here. Terry Collins has it, swings it over. Gets it back to Collins. Thought about the three. Spin move against Milton. Up and under. Nice move by Terry Collins. Pretty move. Yeah, nice shot. Good. And the bucket is good. 20 point lead. Oh, yeah, nice. That will look just like the girls team. They got a good team. They just don't have enough. <laughs> Ishmael Plant gets it inside and loses the handle. Rebound by the Golden Lions. Fancy move there by Michael Barber. We'll kick it out to the corner. Three-point shot, no good. Rebound, Bram Harris. That's going to be on the going to be his Ishmael Plett. Ishmael Plett called for that foul. Oh, he's going to foul out right there. Wow. I, I missed that one. And the next one game is on the board. He's got a new start time. That's actually on the home. Home 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 this Saturday. Thought, next Saturday. I thought home. it said next home game was Alabama State. They may have been 1230 and 3 o'clock. You may be correct. Saturday. And they've started the wave here in the H.O. Clemens Arena. As number 22, Michael Barber will head to the line. First week felt good. Fun here inside the HL Clemens Arena. AJ Stradick returns for Valley. Pretty good looking wave there. That, that was pretty good. You think the wave will ever be out? Never. Uh, ever. Never. Ever. I don't see it at it's like, games, It's mm -hmm. like a pick and roll in basketball. But it's never going to Do you ever see it? Not as often. Not as often. Only here. No, I've seen it in pro games, another college game. Just not as often as you used to see it. You used to see it every game. Every single game. Yeah, they went through the way. Yeah, Eight minutes remaining in this ball game. 67-49 advantage for UAPB. Caleb Stokes has it in the post. He's just gonna pull a jumper. Nice shot. Big smooth. Big smooth. Big smooth, Caleb Stokes. Yeah, and he had this fan club behind us. They're loving it. I'm loving it as well. Yeah, he got the next time up. A big fan as he's doing great on defense and he comes up with the steal. Taylor Stokes, he got hit in the eye and a foul on the play. That foul on number 22. Michael Barber, his first personal and the 10 team foul and the, the crowd erupts. We'll take a break on this media timeout with 734 remaining. 20 point advantage for the Golden Lions. The Golden Lions Bank broadcast of Great TV basketball on 99 3 the beat.
69-49 is our score with the Golden Lions on top of the Delta Devils of Mississippi Valley State. The Royal Barbie here with Carlos James. Golden Lions pretty much in control of this ball game from the opening jump. Both teams are in the double bonus with seven, just over seven and a half minutes remaining. So we'll see what we can do down the stretch. Caleb Stokes has to be the story of tonight. I mean, hadn't seen him on the court at all this season, has come out today. Ten and points. Right, contributed. And, and not only with the points, but some of the stuff that don't show up on the, on the scores card. Yeah. He's doing a great job defensively as he misses the first free throw. Also, uh, I mean, setting screens, just doing everything you need a big man to do, rebounding the basketball as well. Yeah, no post moves. And then now we figure out he got that little 10, 12 foot jump. Yeah, soft touch. Big scoop uh, with the layup. Yeah. Obviously, with the free throws. Move. Devils will bring it up for it. Trailing by 21. Drive by Collins. He drops it off. Knocked away by Sean Goss. Goss with the block shot. Here comes Kyler Mills. Swings it over to Harris. Harris thought about a three. Inside, nice look. But stolen by Washington. <laughs> Inside pass. Here's Collins taking the corner three. Here's in and out. Rebound Graham Harris. Out to Milton. Milton. Chased down from behind by Terry Collins, he knocks it away. Possession remains with the Golden Lions. AC Curry returning. So number 21, Ronald Williams, seeing his first action of the night, the 6'8 senior from Colleen, Texas. Again, major lead for the Golden Lions by 21. But hey, you can't get mad at him for taking that shot. Collins attempts a three, and he knocks it down for the devil. Gives him this 10 point. 70 to 52 hour score. And some scoring updates as Milton will get a screen from Stokes. They'll reset. Milton takes the screen, goes to the right side, pulls it back out. Texas Southern Curry needs credit, 47 to 41. Southern over all the state by 10, 65, 55, with 448 remaining in the game. Goss has it, swings it out. Macy Curry steps out of bounds. Get a little sloppy for the Golden Lions. They still have a for an 18-point lead, but you still want to see execution. You guys stay in, stay in the offense and then still continue to play um, defense as well. Yeah, it's just one of those things that where, as, as a team, you don't know if you want to slow it down or speed it up. It, what, what you want to do traditionally is just kind of stay in the same offense that you've been in. That rhythm got you the lead. Yeah, they you give you that rhythm. rhythm. I think that's why the rhythm is getting kind of broken. Uh, trying to slow it down, burn the clock out a little bit. Get out of here with a victory, like you said. Nobody gets you know, you know, this was knocked away by AC Curry. He goes out of bounds. Possession belongs to Valley. Here's the inbounds from underneath their own basket. This is Collins. He has it. He's going to take the shot. No good. Nice block out by Robert Lewis. Rebound AC Curry. Trey John Ware crosses over, goes inside, kicks it out to Milton, takes the three. No good. Rebound, Devils. Here comes Washington on the right side. He'll slow it up on the Terry, slings it across to Collins. And that's going to be an offensive foul. The legal screen is number 21, Ronald Williams. Only his first personal foul, but that'll send the Golden Lions to the line for two. Again, double bonus with 5.39 remaining in the ball game. Well, actually, player control foul. They will not go to the line. Yeah, I'm glad you knew that because I thought they were shooting. Golden line swinging around the perimeter. Baseline drive by Milton is pinned. And that was actually uh, Dawes. Yeah, believe right. Dawes, not Milton. You're right. Absolutely. Foul number one. Run of wins. And then at, the, at, at some point, Lamar, Get Doss out of the game. Um, so it's it's 18 or do you wait till under, under four, maybe? 
Well, before I answer that, Tyron Mosley called for that foul, his third personal. You want to um, think about it? Yeah. Well, anytime, anytime, at this point, anytime in the remainder of the game to pull them out, I don't think it can go wrong. I mean, with 529, if you don't have people on the bench that can, with the 18 point lead, I mean, just same, 19. Same what we saw in the first ball game with uh, TK. Right. And she was injured, came back, and got re injured. Yeah, because she said, I talked to her afterwards, she said someone fell on the leg. Oh, wow. The, the next time she got, but she says she should be fine by the time they really play again. Hopefully so. Sean Dawes knocks down. Yeah. Yeah. Knocks down both. 20 point advantage again for the Golden Lions. Again, but I guess how much of this you want him to at least try to get his average? Because that's big, you know, uh, for the next level for him. Right. And Robert Lewis takes a tumble. He's back on his feet. Defense. Great defense by Lewis on Raekwon Brown. He'll get the rebound as well. Swings it over to Ware. And he is kind of doing that. You see Orion uh, Burton. He does get playing time, but Trey John Ware not able to finish. Also, uh, Robert Lewis standing in the game a little longer. He has four fouls. Yeah, but he's a freshman. He needs to play. Right. And that's what I mean. He, keep those guys out there, yeah. although he still starts. Yeah. He needs yeah. the reps. He's going to time as possible. That foul is against Orion Burden, his second person. And the double bonus for number three, Kedar Walter. Sophomore from Bakersfield, California. We'll have two. First free throw is up and good. One shot remaining. Once again, Lady Lions and Golden Lions will be off this Monday. They'll return on the road in Norman, Mississippi. Take on Alcorn State next Saturday. Big thing for you guys right if people can make that one, that'll be a good yes, game for that support, yes. Walsh will knock down the second free throw. Here comes the double team off the leg of Walter. So the Golden Lions will maintain possession. With an 18-point lead. Curry into where? We'll set it up. Swings it over to Burton. He's over to Doss. Doss backs in. Mid-range jumper up and no good. And they're going to get A.C. Curry, and I think that's going to be his fifth. <laughs> you said that you had already put him on the bench. It's going to be number 24. And indeed it is. <laughs> well, I just kind of noticed that Curry was on the court. He had four fouls as well as Robert Lewis. It's going to be either one of them, but both of them was in the area. Right. So one of them was done for sure. Ended up being A.C. Curry. So Curry finished the night with three points, three assists. Three rebounds. Wow, three, three, three. That's good. That's a good to see that. <laughs> As the first free throw is missed by Raekwon Brown for the Devils. You'll have one remaining. 72 54 our score. It's Kyler Milton will enter the game for Robert Lewis. And Curry actually had six points in the game. Did hit, knocked down two three points, absolutely. And the free throw is good by Brown. So 427 remaining, 72 55 our score. Golden Lions lead. George Ivy returns. Golden Lions. As Milton will bring it across midcourt. Spin move by Milton. Goes toward the middle of the cup. He is fouled. Terry Collins. Guilty of the infraction. He'll pick up his third. Tick, 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 tick. <laughs> right. Yeah. And, you know, these games are very difficult to, to actually broadcast. But at the same time, I mean, you have to love that your team is up by so much. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. Yeah. And they've been, it's, it's been like that the whole entire ball game. It has. First free throw good by Milton. 
Scoring updates, 49-45, Texas Southern over Prairie View. 72-65, Southern over Alcorn with 145 remaining in the game. Milton knocks down the second free throw. The Golden Lions keep that lead. Big. Right now, it's just at 19. There's the dunk home by Tyron Mosley. Cuts the lead to 17. Well, make sure you get the media timeout, the under four. Milton slowing it up. Gets the screen from Bram Harris. Harris rolls. He was open for a moment. As Verdon takes the three, knocks it down. On Ryan Verdon yeah. with his first three of the night. Verdon shown he can shoot the basket. Yes, down. he can shoot the ball. Absolutely. And as you mentioned, like you call him, that's your APB baby. That is your APB's baby. That foul is going to be on Trey John Ware, his fourth personal. And a media timeout with 3.35 remaining. 20-point lead for the Golden Lions, 77-57 here on the Reliance Bank broadcast of Golden Lions basketball on 99.3 The Beat. We'll be back. Swing and insert, swerving here inside the H.O. Clemens Arena with the Golden Lions holding on to that 20-point advantage as we wind down the, fat, the last few minutes here in this ball game. 3.35 remaining, and it's been the night for Sean Dawes Jr. once again. Posted 30 points on Saturday, Monday. That was Monday. Posted 30 points, and tonight so far has about 18 as well as has 17, actually. Kylan Milton has surpassed him with 18. All right, ready to resume action to the line for the Devils. Tyron Mosley, check that. That is Kadar Walter. And he knocks down the first free throw. So one shot remaining. We have some scoring updates for you here momentarily. As Walter is able to knock down the second free throw. <laughs> So the lead is now 18. 77 59, 325 remaining. As Milton is blocked, and here comes the Devils. This is Collins attacking the basket, goes up. Sean Dawes Jr. going up high to contest the shot. He'll be called for the foul. We That's his third person. And they won't trick. Who is that? A tick or somebody. I was trying to see who that was. You know, with the nicknames and stuff, you know, we might not. That's some cafeteria name. He got right. a cafeteria nickname. And the first basket is good. Free throw by Collins. Now, we do have an addition today, number 30, T. Harris. That may be who they're talking about. That might about. be who they're talking about. Tick. Tick Harris? Tip Harris? Whatever his name Tip is. Harris would be Tiado. That would be Tiado. <laughs> Shot is missed. Ball off of Bram Harris goes back to the Devils. 20 seconds on the shot clock, 316 on the game clock. Prairie View now leads Texas Southern 52-49, 422 remaining in the game. Southern over Alcorn, 74-67. With 45 seconds remaining in that one. Orion Verdon called for his third personal. That'll send Collins back to the line. Two shots. 
77-60 is our score. Collins with a chance to add to his point total. He does. As Caleb Stokes re-enters the Little Rock native. Sixteen point advantage for the Golden Lions. Make it fifteen after the second free throw by Collins. So three sixteen remaining. Golden Lions will look to eat some clock here. As it should be close to around three thirty by the time we take a shot. Milton almost traveled there. Yeah. Inside to Caleb Stokes. One on one. Spin move. Stokes with the soft jumper, no good. Rebound, Walter. He kicks it out front, knocked away by Milton, and it ends up in the hands of Orion Verdon. Gets it out to Zach Reinhardt. He'll pull it back out, and they'll reset. Swings it over to Milton. Here's Goss. He'll drive on the other side. As Dawson Collins. Bumping a little bit. Get a little testy there. That's on number 11. Yeah. Terry Collins, his fourth. Yeah. They know they want to try to hold Dawson under 20 because, like I say, he was averaging 26 of the last few games. And probably that average is a little bit higher than it was at 15. I think he's at 15.6 for the season. But I don't think they're going to be able to hold him. Hold him under 20. He's at 18, has one free throw remaining. Tied with Kylan Milton for the leading scorer of the game. And he surpassed him with the second free throw. So 19 points there for Sean Doss after posting 30 on Monday. Here's the drive, motion offense by the Devils. This is Mosley, he has it, swings it over to Collins, who takes the three, it's short. Offensive board by Brown. He goes up off the glass and good. Timeout, Delta Devils. 2-12 remaining, 79-64 hour score. And the Devils have chopped into this lead just a little bit with 2-12 remaining. We'll take a 30-second timeout and be back with more on the Reliance Bank broadcast of Go to Lions Sports on 993 to beat. Core pressure by the Devils. Golden Lions take a shot by Burden. He misses. Oh. And call a blocking foul on Orion Burden. And that may be his fifth. No, check that. That's his fourth personal. Burden came in late in the game and he picked up four quick fouls. Didn't he? That's Robert Lewis a waste to check in. And me and him had the same amount of fouls when the half started. And he got four, and I still got zero. <laughs> that is in Raekwon Brown to the line. 79-64 hour score. 15-point lead. It's cut to 14. Robert Lewis replaces Caleb Stokes. Stokes, excuse me. And they won't trick. So Brown, with the second free throw, is good. Ryan Hart will inbound, gets it into Milton as he's pushed. That's going to be five for Collins. And that'll do it. 
Like they said, they're going print. So maybe so, Trent. Trent Harris, that would say, that would fit. Explain it, yeah. Kylan Milton, we're here to the line. Be what? our luck is no such player. <laughs> <laughs> Under two minutes remaining in this ball game. We do see a T. Harris. His name could be Thomas or Tim. I thought they were asking for T.I. They said Tip Harris. That's what I thought. <laughs> T.I. come out and play, I'm, I'm gone. <laughs> Milton knocks down his first free throw, tied with Doss with the lead, 19 points. As a discussion with a Valley player and the official prior to Milton's second free throw. And in, <laughs> in and out ah. and back in. 20 points for Kylan Milton. Yeah, as he takes the scoring lead. Getting the shooter's roll. Walter down, and Robert Lewis has just fouled out. Yep. Now they may get Tip or Trent or T. Harris. He's going to get the game. <laughs> Robert Lewis. And they get it. And that's what they want, Trent Harris. So Trent Harris into the ball game. Yeah. Wearing number 30. Seeing his first action of the season. And he's a crowd favorite as well. He's all of what, five, 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 six? Yeah. That's being generous. Yeah. Raekwon Brown. But that's the good thing you love about him college basketball right there. And you love it, man. You love yeah. to see guys, because they work just as hard exactly. as, as the rest of the team. Exactly. You get a chance to play at home. Right. Fans are into Sharing it. your name. And, oh, man, you can't beat it. Yeah, can't, you can't beat it. 81-6-7, our score. Go to Lions in total control. That's the second free throw is good by Brown. As you get older, you come back, you tell that story how. Right, you played was, 30 minutes. And it was <laughs> packed, and you came in, hit the game winner. Right. And each year the story gets bigger and bigger. Yeah, yeah. I went from having three points to 30. Right. Here's Milton, a minute and a half remaining, 81-68. He'll swing it over to Trent. Back out to Milton. And they want him to shoot it. Yes. Milton, shot clock down to five. He's going to have to take the shot. Gives it over to, and it's stolen. You got to come to the ball, youngin. Jordan yeah. Johnson with the steal. Yeah, he's trying to get him the basketball. Tyron Mosley has it. Approaching one minute remaining. Zach Reinhardt with the defense. To kick it out to Walter. He's guarded by Verdon. Here's the contest. Three point shot is good. Nice shot there by Kadara Walter. And actually, that's a big shot with 56 seconds left to cut the lead to 10. 10 points. Under a minute remaining. 81 71 is our score. We'll take a 30 second timeout. We'll be back with more. On the Lions Bay broadcast of Go to Lions Basketball on 99.3 The Beat.
Ryan Verdon will inbound for the Golden Lions as he gets it in to Tyler Milton. And that is the second time uh, Milton has had a big collision in this ball game. Yeah. He, and I saw him saying that he had a headache earlier. Yeah. And that collision is not going to help it any. At all. Jordan Johnson called for his second personal. And, and the thing is, is, is what more important, I ain't going to say more important, but just as important is hitting the free throws right now. Right. 53.6. You don't, you don't make these free throws. They go down and hit a three. It's all of a sudden. Right. A seven-point game. seven-point ball game. So Milton will have two here. As he's able to net the first one, knocking it down, 82-71. Those are big. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is his second straight 20-point game as well. I think he had 20 in the loss to Grandma. And he knocks down the second free throw. Off the bench. So 22 points for Kylan Milton. The lead is 12 for the Golden Lions. Here's Walton. As he's guarded, misses the jumper, rebound Kylan Milton. And he's going to push it as he is fouled from behind by George Ivory. Staying on the floor. <laughs> Literally on the floor. Also in the game for the first time, number three, Karan Colvin, the 6'3 freshman from Newport News, Virginia. Oh, that's where uh, you got some good people from there, Michael Vick and uh, Allen Iverson. Right. Uh-oh, I done pushed the scores table on the, <laughs> on the court. court. <laughs> Milton misses the first free throw. And Newport News is like Pine Bluff, a lot of big-time athletes. As Henry Jackson <laughs> pushes the scores table out. Oh, we're going to put him out there on the air. Oh, Hen actually, man. Henry Jackson Jr. <laughs> Milton knocks down the free throw. That's Doris's boy. 84-71 <laughs> to score. Walter's going to try to drive. They're going to call Milton for the foul. First thing coach says when he gets up there, he's going to say, we didn't finish like we should have finished. Right. Yeah. That's only Milton's first foul. Yeah. Again, as he leads all scores with 23 points. I see it coming. So 84-71 to score. 13-point advantage, 32 and a half seconds remaining. At the line is Kadara Walter. He misses the first free throw. You have one remaining. Here's the second free throw by Walter. And he knocks it down. 84-72 our score. 12 points for Walter. Trent Hass has it, breaks the half court. Takes it, and a turnover. The fans wanted a foul right there. They right. got their man to the line for some points. He gets a steal, though. And there's a foul. And they foul him. And he helping the fans. <laughs> and, you know, uh, he came in with Coach Ivory as well. So that may have been something with Coach Ivory. He's grinning over there. Oh, okay. And I think he may have did that intentionally. Tyron Mosley called for the foul, his fourth. Again, because that's one of his kids. So he want to see him, you know. I mean, the game is already in hand for the Golden Lions, pretty much. So yeah, I, so. Yeah, I mean, because there's no reason to foul him there. Right. So Trent Harris to the line, trying to get in the scores column, and he does. Back down his first free throw. You, you think that was a game winner? <laughs> Big applause for Sean Dawes Jr. Finished the night with 19 points. He'll take a seat as Zach Reinhardt returns. And Trent Harris will have one free throw remaining. He misses it. Rebound Devils. Harris playing defense, gets a rip. <laughs> As you can hear the fans, they're on their feet. He goes to Trent Harris. It's stolen by Milton into the hands of Reinhardt. Here's Trent Harris. He's trying to get a shot up. 
Gets it to Orion Burden. The three is good. So Harris with the assist. And it's official, folks. Golden Lions come out with a big win. 82 to 88 to 72. Golden Lions win here. In the H.O. Clippers Arena. We'll take a two-minute break. We'll be back with Coach Solomon Bozeman. Once again, go to Lions beat Mississippi Valley State 88 to 72. This is the Reliance Bank broadcast of UAPB Go to Lions basketball on the UAPB Sports Network and Delta Flex Radios 99.3 The Beat. We'll be back.